So the last question for today's session is there on your screen. So try out this uh, and give me the answer. Eight persons A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are sitting around a circular table but not necessarily in the same order. Uh, four of them are facing the center and four of them are away from the center. Again, this one no, is not a very difficult one. It's of moderate difficulty and uh, only thing you have to keep in mind is that some people are facing center, some people are facing away from the center. And the key here is to fix that one person first. If you fix that person first, then everything will fall in place. So let me help you with that also because some of you might tell me I'm stuck somewhere. So try to place E first. See, it is given E face as the center. Try to place E first and then start solving. So let me start solving it. So I have placed E first, right? What have they given here? See, there is a statement which says that E face is the center. So that is the first thing that I am going to fix. And then <coughs> what is given? Uh, C sits on the immediate right of B. Both the immediate neighbors of B face opposite to each other. A uh, face opposite direction. B sits third to the left of H. G sits second to the right of A. B sits third to the right of E. So if I have placed E, where is B? 1, 2, 3. So B sits third to the right of E. And then uh, H sits second to the left of E. So where is H? H sits second to the left of E. So how many people are here fixed now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have two more people here. Then it is given that B sits uh, B sits third to the left of H. So B is sitting third to the left of H. So this is the left of H. If this is the left of H, what does that mean? H is facing the center. See, if H is facing the center, this has to be its left and this has to be its right. So B is third to the left of H means H has to face the center. Okay, is it clear? Uh, both the immediate neighbors of E face outside the center. Both the immediate neighbors of E face outside the center. Then let me go back. C sits on the immediate right of B. Okay, I can't use that. Both the immediate neighbors of B face in opposite direction. B sits third to the left of H. G sits second to the right of A. Okay, uh, B sits uh, third to the right of E, H sits second to the left of E, both the immediate neighbors of E face outside from the center, E faces the center, F is an immediate neighbor of D and uh, C is an immediate neighbor of G. Okay, so see F and G, they have to be together. Similarly, uh, sorry, C and G, correct, C and G, they have to be immediate neighbors and F and D, they have to be immediate neighbors, right? That is the next thing that they have given. F is an immediate neighbor of D, C is an immediate neighbor of G. So these two have to be immediate neighbors of each other. So where are the places that I can fix them? See, I can fix CG here or here, right? These are because two adjacent spaces are there in these two places only, either here or here. So in these two places, either it should be CG or FD, any one place filled by one set. Now, I don't know which is where. So we are left with only one place here now. So who has to come here in this place? This place definitely has to be filled by A. Because we have filled everybody else, right? You have filled E, H, B. Then you know C, G and F, D will come in these four spaces. So who is left with us? We are left with A. So A is coming here. So A is coming here. And then uh, after that, what is given here? G sits second to the right of A. So G sits second to the right of A means A is facing outside second to the right of A. G is sitting second to the right of A means this is G. So if this is G, I know for sure this is going to be C. So G and C also I have fixed. And then what have they said? B and D are not immediate neighbors. So if G and C are here, definitely F and D are going to come here. But they have given that B and D are not immediate neighbors. So this has to be D and this has to be F. Uh, now, D faces outside from the center and both the uh, immediate neighbors of D face inside the center. So these two are facing inside. Also, it was given that the neighbors of B face in opposite direction. That means if F is facing center, the other neighbor has to face outside. 
so that also you have got now uh, what else are we left with i need to find out the uh, direction of g and b yes uh, what is the direction b sits uh, third to the left c uh, c sits on the immediate right of b so c sits on the immediate right of b means which direction should b face b should face inside correct c sits on the immediate right of b means b should face inside then only this will be his right and this will be his left so that is also fixed so now you know that four people are facing the center four people are facing outside so which uh, where should g face g should face outside so g c d and a are facing outside h e b and f are facing inside so that is the final thing that you get okay okay yeah so inwards it's clear no see whenever you are uh, doing this inwards outward to get the direction assume that you are the person sitting there facing inwards of the table so your left will be the left of that person that you are looking at and your right will be the right of the person that you are looking at okay so first question what is the position of e with respect to g what is the position of e with respect to g see g is here e is here e is this is g's left and this is g's right e is 1 2 3 3 uh, to the left of g so e is 3 to the left of g that is option d which of the following statements is or are true so e is an immediate uh, neighbor of f that's true no that's not true right e is not an immediate neighbor of f only two people sit between b and f no b and f are immediate neighbors h sits second to the left of b no that's also not true a faces outside from the center that is true so the correct answer for this is option d 